don't have to baby me. I can walk all by myself. One cannot be too cautious, Monica. The hospital board has informed me that the building will be ready for occupancy sooner than expected. So it's very important for our family that you get well so that we can have things run our way. Oh, so this is why they're concerned. No, I, I, I was very concerned about you during the fire, but that disaster's over, and we deserve some good news. And thankfully, I have some. Oh, what's that? You'll know soon enough. It's a terrible idea, Daddy, and Luke and I won't have it. Uh, don't drag me into this. This is your battle. Did I ask for your opinion, Tracy? Well, it's nice to know nothing has changed around here. Why invite a potential freeloader into the house? We have had a freeloader in this house, your ne'er-do-well husband, for years. I love you, man. Oh, please. Oh, Edward, you know you'd miss me if I were gone. Who else would you have to complain about morning, noon, and night? Oh, okay, well, if it isn't uh, Luke who is the freeloader, who is? Perfect timing. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> oh my God! What did I tell you? That is a recipe for disaster. disaster. <laughs> Rebecca, you know Monica, of course, and this is my daughter Tracy and her husband Luke. This is Rebecca Shaw, our new guest. Let me get you some water, dear. Exercise caution. Investigate thoroughly before you go extending any invitations. Knock it off, Tracy. I don't care if she looks like Emily. I don't care if she looks like Alice, for that matter. I, I want her out. No one cares what you want, because this is my house. Look, I only came by for you a see, visit. You see, Rebecca I... is a victim of that hospital fire. Oh, my God, Daddy, you are such an easy mark. I don't want to cause any trouble. And she is without a job until the building reopens. My heart bleeds. Well, be that as it may, she is staying here with us. Actually, Mr. Quarterman, I, I never agreed. I think that's a wonderful to... idea. Wonderful idea? What is wrong with you? You don't know a thing about her. You don't know anything about Ethan. You're on my team. You don't have a team, Tracy. If you need any tips on how to fleece this flock, I'm a walking encyclopedia. This is my house. I say Rebecca is welcome. Now, if anybody disagrees with me, they can pack their bags. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I think there's been a misunderstanding. I'm staying at Kelly's. I just dropped by for a visit. Oh, my dear. Those rooms above Kelly's are no bigger than postage stamps. Yes, and we have a lovely, lovely guest room upstairs. She doesn't want it. <clears throat> Look, I appreciate it. I'm staying at Kelly's. See? Uh, but we just, we wanted to get to know you better, my dear. Where are you from? Uh, Arizona, oh, uh, perhaps? Listen, what? we have plenty of time for that later. Oh. Can I get you um, some coffee or a soda? And you'll or... supply the saccharin. Watch it, Tracy. One more crack, and you and Luke are kicked to the curb. What did I do? A girl who just happens to look exactly like Emily shows up in town, where Emily used to live. Also, the town where her grieving family still resides. Doesn't that make you suspicious? Why can't you give this girl a chance? Because it's more than coincidence. Okay, okay, stop. Can any of you show some civility here? Who asked you? What, were we, were we coming on a little strong, my dear? Oh, please, Daddy, are Sherman tanks considered strong? Edward was trying to be gracious, something mm -hmm. you should try sometime. So we can make our lovely guest feel at home? It wouldn't hurt. All of you. We're being completely unfair here.